two games. State championship football played in torrential rains. It's the perfect setting for the season finale of the Blitz. We have NorCal champs Escalon High hosting SoCal champs Northwood High of Irvine in a battle for the CIF Division IV AA state crown. The Cougars, fresh off their third straight SAC Joaquin section championship, and with a win tonight, they will earn the third state title in school history. Quite the position to be in after finishing third in the Trans Valley League. Let's get into it on the Friday Night Highlights. The rain stopped as soon as the game kicked off, but the strategy remained, run the ball. Adam Harper with a five yard rush to open things up for Northwood. But on third and 10, quarterback Eugene Miata fumbles the ball and that's recovered by Jamin Miller. And Escalon takes over at the 21. Here's Riker Peters picking up eight yards on second and seven. And before you know it, Escalon is in the end zone. Donovan Roosevelt recovering from a bad snap, and he finds sophomore tight end Ryan Lewis. Six yards in the back of the end zone, and that's a touchdown. And in five plays, Escalon is on the board. And on the ensuing kickoff, Adam Harper shows number three as a player to watch. This is an excellent kick return all the way into Escalon territory at the 45. And on the subsequent possession, Harper runs for 10 yards and a first down. But on third and 20, Miata hits Andrew Penrod for only seven yards. And so that leads to a punt and change of possession. A change that doesn't last long because Caden Carter puts his helmet on the ball and Ahmad Kazi scoops it up. Turnover for the T-Wolves and they take over at the Cougar 20. Escalon's defense puts the clamp on Northwood. Harper here with a five yard rush on second and 12. And then Carter with a three yard run on third and seven. That forces a 34 yard field goal attempt. That is blocked. Oh, but there's a flag, personal foul. And that's gonna give Northwood's offense a goal line scenario. And on third and goal from the six, Miata tucks it and runs all the way into the end zone for a six yard touchdown. And after 10 minutes of sloppy throwback football and another recovered fumble for Escalon by way of Javier Gutierrez, we enter halftime locked at seven. Now, before we get into the second half, let's recognize our sponsor, Realtor Michael Rocha. Are you a buyer looking for your perfect home? Or are you a seller looking for top dollar for your home? No matter what your goals are, if you're looking to win in this real estate market, Michael Rocha is the realtor for you. So contact Michael Rocha today at 209-485-5228. You can also find him on Facebook and on Instagram. And big shout out to Main Street Garage in Escalon for sponsoring this episode. Main Street Garage is a Napa Auto Care Center that offers a wide variety of services. Oil changes, alignments, smog checks, brakes, air conditioning. If your car has a problem, Main Street Garage has a solution. Find them at 1906 Main Street and tell Mike, Carly, and Katie that the Blitz said hello. Home run hitter on Escalon's opening drive as Logan Anderson bursts through a wide open lane. That's a 50 yard touchdown and he's gone. And in fact, we're gonna see that one more time as we rewind this play and give Anderson his flowers. This is the play of the game. And let's take a closer look. A great block by the pooling guard. I see you, Anthony Jones. And then Aiden Wilson takes care of Penrod and opens it up for Anderson to jet. And nobody is near the senior back. And with 8.50 left in the third, the Cougars retake the lead. And after a Northwood three and out, Anderson picks up where he left off. An 11 yard run. First down inside the red zone, and that's followed by Peters, who chips in with a 14-yard run into the end zone for the touchdown. <laughs> but a flag for holding calls it back, and on the very next play, Rosevink is intercepted. The ball bounces off a defender and falls into the hands of Jonathan Kank. He returns it to the 19, but despite the best efforts of quarterback Eugene Miata, and this 21 yard run to the 50 on third and inches. A nine play drive ends in a punt. 
so no points off the turnover. And that sets the stage for a championship drive. Peters with a 10 yard run, splashing out of bounds. That's a first down. And then Peters once again, trucking a defender and dragging another for four yards. And wouldn't you know it, Peters once again with a 10 yard rush, old school grit stomping mud holes. And on third and two from the three, Peter plunges to the one. And upon further measurement, it's confirmed as a first down, but a personal foul backs them up 15 yards, which is no problem for Peters. Third and goal from the six, he hits the end zone and strikes a pose. 14 consecutive rushes for Peters to close that drive, a drive that chewed more than nine minutes off the clock. And so with three and a half minutes to go and down by two scores, Northwood needs to make something happen, but they're nearly intercepted in and out of the hands of Owen Nash. On the next play, Miata delivers the ball directly to Nash and Nash makes up for his previous drop with an interception return for a touchdown. 43 yards to seal the deal and secure the state championship for the 2022 Escalon Cougars. <laughs> state championship 28 to 7 with a pick six to close out the game and this is the best feeling in the world if you can't hear my team over there cheering because they you know they wanted this so bad i mean this is so unbelievable we knew they were athletic i mean their, their kids played hard and, it, and they looked like they played hard on film and uh they came out here i mean the quarterback and the running back are, are dudes very good football players um, you know, at the end of the night, we were just make, a, able to make a few more plays than them. We came out with the mindset that we had to break their will. Uh, the first half, they were kind of, they were kind of using the disadvantage of the field or our advantage of the field against us, and they were beating us at our own game. And so we came out and we destroyed their will. We came in a second half and we're like, okay, our line's got to step up. Our running backs got to run harder. Our quarterbacks got to make a good read. Our defense has got to step up on all you know corners. Our DNs, our D line, our corners, our safety. I mean, it was truly amazing, and, to, and this team is tough. I mean, they're 14-1 for a reason. You know, we're giving back to the community. Uh, most of our coaching staff is Escalon alumni. Uh, you know, we're, we're proud of where we come from. We got a moat going around our field right now. Our field's tore up, uh, you know, but, but nothing's better for, for this group of people in this community. 2019, we got it by being La Jolla. You know, we've had brothers and, you know, fathers that have won state championships before us. And to come out here and keep that legacy alive, oh gosh, I mean, there's no words to describe it. We're state champs. This season, we lost somebody special. Uh, Mr. Largen or Greg Largen was our coach, our teacher, and the voice of the Cougars for 27 years. His 60th birthday was yesterday. And so, hey, this one's for you, Coach Largen. 21 unanswered points in the second half to claim victory for Escalon. And now the Cougars are CIF Division IV AA state champions. And this is the third state title in school history and the second under head coach Andrew Beam, who himself is a former Escalon High quarterback. I think it's safe to say he's well on his way to legendary status there at the Escalon campus. And another name that will ring throughout Escalon for years to come is the running back Riker Peters. And it really was a tale of two halves when it came to the rushing game. In the first half, Peters had only eight carries for 37 yards. But once the second half began, he let it rip with 23 carries for 129 yards and one touchdown. And that's a total of 166 yards. Not bad given the field's condition. Logan Anderson, he put in some work as well, nine carries and one reception for a total of 88 yards. And Donovan Roosevelt, the quarterback, he finished three for nine for 32 yards, one touchdown and one interception. As for Northwood, their quarterback, Eugene Miata, he had somewhat of a rough day. He finished two for nine for 10 yards in addition to eight carries for 52 yards. He also had an interception and a lost fumble. 
As for Adam Harper, he had 12 carries for 39 yards. And an interesting fact, no passes were completed by either team in the second half. Difficult conditions for these two teams to play in, but the rain did stop at kickoff like I mentioned earlier in the episode, and so things could have been much, much worse. Regardless, that field is not going to be able to be played on again, and it won't be, because that was the final farewell for the field at Ingle Memorial Stadium. What a game to end Season 10 of The Blitz. That's right, there's no more games after this. And so, at the end of the 2022 season, Escalon finishes with a 13-3 record. And though we weren't able to cover the game, let's shout out a team that handed Escalon one of those losses. TVL foe Houston High, who also won a state title. That's right, the Huskies are CIF Division 5 AA champions after edging out near high 6-9. And so with that, the 2022 season officially comes to an end. I'm Frankie Tovar. Thank you for watching The Blitz.